I am a consultant hematologist. I specialize in the diagnosis and treatment of lymphoma. The aim of this short film is to provide some basic information about low-grade lymphoma. A new diagnosis can be overwhelming and patients tend to miss the basic facts given to them during the first consultation. This short film will hopefully give you the core facts about what is low-grade lymphoma, the symptoms and signs associated with low-grade lymphoma, tests and investigations required for the diagnosis and staging of low-grade lymphoma, and the treatment options available for this disease. And I'll also give some advice on living with low-grade lymphoma. I hope that following the discussion of these crucial points, you will be empowered with a better general knowledge of low-grade lymphoma. This, together with the support from your treatment team, will make things clearer to you and your loved ones. Let us start off with the definition of lymphoma. Lymphoma is a form of cancer of the lymph glands. Lymph glands are found normally in human beings and contain special types of white blood cells called lymphocytes. These help to clear infection from the body. The lymphocytes are also found in the blood and bone marrow as part of the immune system, which is required for fighting infection and disease. Lymphoma is a disease where abnormal lymphocytes cause cancer of the lymph glands. As these abnormal lymphocytes accumulate within lymph nodes, they cause enlargement of the lymph nodes. These may be felt by the patient as soft tissue lumps. There are various types of lymphoma. In some types, the abnormal lymphocytes are aggressive and make the lymph glands swell rapidly. Such a type of lymphoma is referred to aggressive or high-grade lymphoma. In other types of lymphoma, the abnormal lymphocytes expand slowly and the disease takes years to progress and does not cause many symptoms unless advanced. Such types of lymphoma are referred to as slow or low-grade lymphoma. And although there are various subtypes of low-grade lymphoma, there are similar features of disease in them. In this film, we will focus on the common features of low-grade lymphoma. Although low-grade lymphoma causes swellings of the lymph glands, which may be noticed as a lump by the patient, this often does not cause any symptoms. In fact, majority of cases of low-grade lymphomas do not have any symptoms during the early phase of the disease. This may be the case for many years until the disease reaches more advanced stages. In advanced stages, the lumps may become too large and cause discomfort to the patient. The advanced disease is also associated with expansion of the abnormal lymphocytes in the bone marrow and these may suppress the growth of other normal blood cells. The patient may then present with low blood counts like anemia, low neutrophil count and low platelet count. Therefore, in such cases, there may be symptoms of anemia like tightness or excessive infections due to low neutrophil numbers and bleeding tendencies due to low platelet numbers. Rarely, these abnormal lymphocytes can make abnormal antibodies, which may cause destruction of the patient's own red cells, resulting in anemia. If such antibodies are directed to the patient's platelets, this will result in low platelet count and a bleeding tendency. Such lymphocyte behavior is referred to as immune complications of lymphoma. The diagnosis is made by confirming the presence of the enlarged lymph glands on the CT scan and taking a tissue sample from an enlarged gland or a lump. The biopsy report will give the final diagnosis. A CT scan of the chest, abdomen and pelvis is required to assess the extent of the disease involvement. Similarly, a bone marrow biopsy is required to assess the extent of the disease in the bone marrow. Based on these results, your hematologist can assign a stage to your disease. The stage of your disease gives an indication of the extent or the involvement of the disease.
The majority of low-grade lymphomas are slow-growing diseases which cause no symptoms and usually do not require any treatment. In some cases where the disease is low volume and limited to a single site, it may be treated with radiotherapy. This will be decided by your specialist based on the CT scan findings. In patients with advanced phase of the disease, chemotherapy may be required, which is usually reserved for the disease that causes symptoms or ill health. There are many excellent treatment options available for this purpose, and these are tailored or adjusted according to the patient's needs and ability to tolerate chemotherapy. These treatments are very effective in reducing and controlling the disease. Although technically there is no complete cure for this condition, most of the current treatments are very effective in providing disease control for long periods of time. Most patients with low-grade lymphoma can enjoy a normal day-to-day -day life. You will be followed up regularly by your specialist with the aim to keep an eye on your disease. If you notice a new swelling or a change in the size of a previous swelling, you should discuss this with your specialist. Your disease is expected to progress slowly over time, and if it causes you any symptoms, then these should be brought to the attention of your specialist. In a small number of cases, the low-grade lymphoma may change into a more aggressive form of lymphoma. This usually results in more prominent symptoms and ill health. One sign of this is a rapid increase in the number and size of abnormal lymph glands. The patient may also develop symptoms like drenching night sweats, unexplained persistent fever and unexplained loss of weight. Such symptoms in lymphoma patients are also referred to as B symptoms. If you develop such symptoms, you will require a detailed assessment of your disease by your specialist to ensure that your disease has not changed into an aggressive form of lymphoma. If the disease has changed to aggressive lymphoma, it can be successfully treated with appropriate chemotherapy. And also note that the majority of low-grade lymphomas do not transform to aggressive lymphoma. The most important thing to remember is that low-grade lymphoma may not give you any symptoms or ill health for a very long time. And when these occur, the disease can be treated and controlled with the help of chemotherapy.